Hey, everybody. How you doing, John? Oh, hey, Andrew and Mark. How you doing, uh, Mark? Pretty good. How you doing, guys? Good. Okay. Let's see. People coming in now. Let's come on in. Here they come. They're coming in. So here we are for Ooh, look, Level look Up that. in Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro with Mark Itzkowicz and John Williams. Am I saying your name right, Mark? It's good, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah it's been awesome. Cool. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Okay, people coming in. So, for those who are coming in, let us know where you're watching from. Welcome, everybody. Ooh. Oh, they look, they look pretty good to me. Yeah. Where are you watching from? I'm watching from somewhere in Texas, somewhere in Los Angeles. Yeah, I am in L.A., baby. Woo! <laughs> that explains the beautiful tan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You've heard the song, Walking in L.A. Nobody walks in L.A. <laughs> Sometimes I walk. Nobody's walking. I walk a lot in L.A. <laughs> All right, so That's we got city Jeff, boy in me, you know? Jeffrey yeah. from Asheville, North Carolina, I believe. Greetings. What's up, Jeffrey? E New Jersey. New Jersey. Jersey over here. Yeah, Mark. I'm walking. He's so in from Atlanta. Hi there. Yes. Hello, hello. I right, well, we got lots to go over today. So uh we do indeed. Shall we jump on in? Oh, um, you want to do a quick intro? So oh Andrea's here. Happy tea. Right. Okay, pasta, Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Good to have you. Why am I talking like that? So why don't you uh, both do a quick intro? So, John, you want to just introduce yourself, and then we'll jump, and then have Mark introduce, and then go into your screen share. Yeah. Sure. I'm John. I like long walks and uh, a good wine and some cheese. <laughs> and uh, I'm a community uh, Adobe community uh, expert and uh, Express ambassador as well. Been doing this uh, for a while now, and uh, yeah. I, Love it. I feel sorry for people who have to work for a living, but uh, I am count myself as one of the fortunate ones who gets to do this uh, and, and make a living at it. Cool. And uh, hopefully we'll have some fun and maybe learn one little tidbit, hopefully today. Just a tidbit? Yeah. And I notice when I do that. Oh, that's cool. I get that. Uh, a bubble thing. It's not gonna and do. and uh, Mark, <clears throat> want to uh, introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Mark. I'm coming to you live from Venice Beach, California. Cool. Uh, I am also an Adobe Community Expert and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor. I've been teaching for uh, over 20 plus years and I also do love what I do, except the time periods like when you're not getting paid to do what you love to do. Oh. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, you know, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a roller coaster. And mm. yeah, and like John said, hopefully everybody learns something new. I know even when I teach Photoshop or, or some kind of new Adobe app, I always tell people that it's a constant process, right? We're always learning with Adobe. It's, it's, it's nonstop because something new is coming around the corner. So here we are. Right, you are. Cool, cool. Well, we got a lot to go over. So uh, start with John. Share your screen. So, John, you want to... Uh, Heck yeah. Your view? I would be delighted to. So I thought you know what, we could go over some of the new features and all that, and that would be great, and we're going to do that. But wouldn't it be more fun just to, like, put a whole video together if we can just, like, say, hey, you've got this you've got this deadline. you got to put this video together, and you have 15 minutes to do it. Could we do it? In they have that approach. feature already? Do what? They have that feature already? Will you just say yeah, they do. I mean, all you got to do is just, like, <laughs> it's this button right here. Boop. <laughs> no. Hey, just uh, it's, it's only a matter of time. So, um, okay, let's start with uh, text-based editing. I think that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's do a little bit of that. I'm going to bring my assets in here to the project panel over here, and I will zoom into the project panel. As you see, I have one called interview, and we'll see uh, what that's all about. I also have a couple more clips, which I have appropriately named clip one and clip two. I know, creative aren't I? <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna create a new sequence. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to file and new. See, we're having fun already, aren't we? New and uh, <laughs> sequence. And I want, uh, let's do HD 24 frames per second. That's perfect. We're gonna name our sequence um, TGIF, because I just, uh, you know what's on my mind. We're glad it's Friday. Cool. 
All right, let's bring interview over here to our timeline. Boop, all I did was just drag that little sucker and I'm gonna hit my Alt or Option key. <laughs> That's a great starting frame right there. It, it looks like he's about to start singing. I'm, I'm hitting my Alt and scroll button so I can kind of um, like do that. Or you can hit your backslash button and it shows like the entire sequence in one, you know, one thing. That makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, I like I like having them a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, right? Um, like my little- so How do you do that? So I'll show, oh, I'm just dragging it. I'm, all I'm doing is dragging. So how do you bigger. make them bigger? It's fun. So you make them bigger, I'm gonna hit the Alt button uh, and plus, and that's gonna make my audio, like see, bigger, bigger. Oh. And then I'm gonna hit command, because I'm on a Mac, um, and uh, hit the plus button. That makes my video timeline stretch. Cool. Yeah. All right, so here on this, uh, okay, uh, let me know if you can hear this okay. It, um, it's, you can barely hear it. Can you hear it at all? You can hear it a bit, yeah. Okay, uh, now, that's really bad. So what do you do? I had like lousy audio on this. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Well, thank goodness for some of these new features in Adobe, they have saved my hide countless times. So for one thing, I'm gonna bump up his audio a little bit. Kids in the White House School. Bump it up a lot. It's district, a district, and now it has There's a lot of background noise. You can hear it a bit, yeah. Because we're at a Walmart, ladies and gentlemen, a Walmart. Uh, the entire but this was a charity event, a little interview I got, which would be a perfect illustration for what I'm about to show you. So over here, I already have my essential sound panel open, as you see. Central sound, I'll zoom in, yeah. see that? All right, uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, what's really really great, um, their AI is uh, so smart that it, it recognizes the difference between music and dialogue. And uh, what we have here is just a piece of dialogue. All I have to do is auto tag it and then it can tell, oh, is that dialogue, music, sound effects, or background noise? And of course I want dialogue, but you know, auto tag would, would take care of it. And there you go, and everything's out now. Oh, okay. I'm in the um, I'm in the beta version, by the way, of Adobe Premiere Pro. I should probably mention that because uh, this feature is currently still in the beta version. So I'm um, gonna zoom in there on that. You see, we have something called enhanced speech. You're probably already aware of this, but we're gonna see just how good <laughs> enhanced speech is because uh, Lord knows we we need a little bit of it. So I'm gonna oop, hit the enhance button. It's got a little slider here too, so it could you can go uh, at the the bottom would be like no enhancement, and then all the way at the top would be like the NPR voice. You're listening to NPR, where it's just so clean. And sometimes you don't want it quite so clean. It just depends on what you're what you're needing. It's going to analyze this right now. So here's the here, we'll have this, the musical interlude at this point. <laughs> um, shouldn't take too long. Okay, it's done. Right. Thirty years. It started up with two teachers and two Isn't that amazing? Is this That's so a lot clearer, yeah. And so, I, in fact, I could probably turn it down because I'm uh, redlining it here. Two firemen uh, helping out some kids in the White House school district. And now it has grown to where it's uh, the entire White House Ministerial Alliance and several businesses. And you don't even hear those, those shoppers in the background. It's like a thousand times better. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So thank you very much. Yes, cue cool. the applause right cool. there. <laughs> All right, so that's a, that's a pretty cool thing. The, the first time I heard that, uh, my head exploded. I tell you, I'm just I'm going to tell you right now, it was a mess. But uh, and I, it, it's it's uh, I use it all the time now. It's part of my workflow. Cool. So uh, we're going to do something else here. So we're going to make him. Uh, so we could make him look a little bit. I thought he doesn't look too bad there. He's very, very a handsome young man there. But uh, let's do something called text-based editing, uh, which is kind of fun. And this will take some of the, if you'll notice, it has, has some uh, what we call filler words where we say um or you know or stuff like that, or pauses. It, it, it'll recognize that. It's so smart. And kids in the White House school district and now okay, so. and several businesses in town that give towards uh, this outreach. Oh, and where did you go for that? Do what now? Where did you go for that for the text? -based? Okay, I was just so the text based editing haven't gone there yet, but I'm about to. Okay, there's okay. a tab up here. Um, here, I'll, uh, I've got a tab right up here at the top that I have that I've customized that says text mm -hmm. editing. Uh, I could click on that, that, that gets you there quickly. 
Um, you can also get there uh, in your Windows panel. Um, just, just go to uh, da -da -da -da, text based editing. Oh, uh, yeah, workspaces. Thank you. <laughs> and text based editing. <laughs> there it is. Cool. Cool. Ding. So. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Now uh, you see we have a, a blue, blue, blue button that says transcribe. All right. Let's hit the blue button and see what happens. So what it's doing is it's listening to his audio and it's going to turn it into turn it into words. And as you see, it nice. did just that. So, oop, sorry, my bad. I, I'm not zooming. Uh, I'm having zooming. Uh, Looks good now. Looks good. I'm zooming disorder today. <laughs> All right, so, um, and you can go right to a, a certain spot on the timeline. Alliance and several businesses in town that give towards uh, this outreach. Okay, so um, I think you can see right here where there, there's these three dots. Can you see that right there? And yeah. we have like filler words and also it recognizes there's a filler word. Yeah. And there's a, like a pause, it's just 0.6 seconds. You can actually uh, change that threshold if you go mm -hmm. over here to uh, up, 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 no, my bad, sorry. Press the wrong button. Hey, press the wrong button. What happened? To search settings, okay, and uh, give your transcript view and filler words, low confidence words. You can also do that, but you see the minimum pause length right here. Okay. You can actually turn that down just a little bit, maybe to the 35 and see what happens. And you see that it's recognizing more pauses and stuff in there. So we could take out any of those pauses if you want to, if you're so inclined. And just for this uh, purpose, we will do just that. And what you do is you go in here and you delete that. You see it made a cut right there on our... On our timeline, my bad. Didn't Pretty cool. Know. Made a cut there, so it cut that out. Two firemen uh, helping out some kids in the White House School District. So, right. catch that. so it took that out. Now that may not necessarily, maybe a little bit too much, but for this purpose, you you get the idea that you can just uh, take that out. And it says here there's a filler word, so just go to this spot on the timeline, and see what happens. Tonight we're shopping for um, four hundred. So he has an um in there. Okay, so let's take out the um. Filler word, boop, and we're just going to hit delete. All right, go back and let's see. Be for four hundred hit. We got that um. Be for four hundred. Um, no um here. Took it out. It's good. We're shopping for four hundred kids uh, in the White House School District that will be supplying toys for, and then it's a total of a hundred. So yeah, there you go. It's uh, pretty handy, and it, it, it can greatly speed up uh your your workflow and your editing and you can go right to uh you know that part where he talks about uh we have 157 families we can go right to that spot nice. on the timeline so, so i have a question yeah i'm not sure if they have it now but i imagine they probably will in the future oh yes um, so you do this type of conversion what's it called text what was the it's text-based editing yeah text-based editing I would imagine in the future you'll be able to go into that and then you can instead of just deleting an area you can also add a new phrase and then the ai will make you can already better. you can already uh, do that you can uh, oh, move cool. stuff around yeah in fact uh yeah. let's see what happens if we do that so uh you you bring up something good i've never tried this before but i'm going to try it anyway so <laughs> you can say something silly I <laughs> oh no no putting words in his mouth i don't think we can do that that's what uh, I'm talking about. Yeah. But what I did was you saw that I was able to take this bottom part. Yeah. Where he says 400 kids and I moved it up here. Nice. And you can, uh, so <clears throat> see, it may not make any sense. This, this outreach, 400 kids uh, in the White House School District that will be supplying toys. For now, can you hear that? Okay. Yeah. Are you able to hear the audio fine? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can do that. And it took that chunk off the timeline and just like rippled what they call ripple deleted it into in, inserted it into that and pushed everything else back. So, Super I mean, cool. that's pretty cool. I mean, they can kind of think of the possibility a lot of time, save a, heck of a lot of time. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So, uh, um, and we could 
do more here? I mean, we could do some more editing if we want, or do uh, we want to move on to something else? I mean, we got got time. You want to? This is think? huge. Like I've got instructional videos that I could record myself for like a five minute video, you know, doing a couple takes in five, like mm -hmm. five, five minutes, but then it takes like the whole day to edit it. Yeah. And this is like, snap save hours literally hours days yeah, yeah. amazing <laughs> probably days sometimes depends on your edit for sure <clears throat> so uh, i hope that helps it um yeah um i, I if, i'm super excited about that but um right. let's see i don't know uh, let's do some more editing i think uh, there's sure. some more great stuff in the sound uh panel i'm going to go back to my regular uh work state work uh whatever my my panels this is my, my custom panel. This is why it has pretty much everything in it. So uh, under Essential Sound, we thought, wouldn't it be nice to have some music? So you can go in here under Browse, and I'll zoom in on that, and find some stuff. Adobe's got stuff. If, and you may have music already that's royalty-free. you got to be careful when you're posting to YouTube. Make sure that it's you know licensed and that you, know, you own the music, the rights to it. Um, but you can get that right here in your essential sound panel. Or, and then it's a total of 157 families that they'll be getting food. And I don't know. Okay. That's not too terrible right there. So let's take that and just drag it onto the timeline. Just Andrea says oh. music. Yes, please. Music. Yes, please. I know. I love music. Oh, look, we, we have ourselves a potential problem. You see this, see how long the music is and see how short his clip is. It's what are we going to do? Oh, no. Oh, well, uh, we have, of course, this is Adobe. We've got options. Uh, first of all, um, first of all, let's do something here. We want to tag the music. Uh, so, okay, this music here, it's kind of kind of uh, too loud, but we're going to do something else first. Um, let's shorten this. But let's say you like the way this song ends. Instead of just having it fade out, you can actually like remix it. And I love this. I absolutely love this this uh, this feature here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in to enable remix. I just right clicked on the music. And in this option, this is remix and then enable remix so it's going to analyze the clip and then uh, oh that was like really fast <laughs> i was going to like talk about what i'm going to do this weekend but never mind <laughs> all right so uh our clip is uh what is it about it's 42 seconds all right so we want this to be roughly along that same so i'm going to drag this target duration down to about 42 seconds and just see okay not quite it's not not perfect. It's not brain science or rocket surgery. That's a pretty good right there. Okay, we're going to call that good. So I'm going to cut that off there. And uh, yeah. Tonight we're shopping for 400 kids uh, in the White House School District. Okay, that's great. But you know, the, the music's kind of loud. So mm -hmm. we got something called ducking. It's in the essential sound panel. Uh, ducking. And it's not um, like mallard or you know i don't know the duck varieties but uh i've got a friend who does but uh no it's like what it'll do is it'll duck the music and lower the volume uh in relation to the the voice so you're going to enable ducking by clicking the little checkbox and you can change the sensitivity the duck amount it's going to like by default it's going to be minus 18 decibels sounds reasonable to me but let's see what happened now we're going to generate keyframes. Okay, generate keyframes. Yeah. Quack, quack. Okay. <laughs> You're despicable. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. It's been going on at White House for over 30 years. It started up with two teach. A little bit, maybe too much ducking. With, I mean, uh, one, maybe a little more music. So, we'll, we'll turn this uh, the, the less. The, and it says new vocabulary word ducking ducking quack, quack. Right. how it has grown to where it okay so yeah uh. it's uh the entire white house ministerial alliance and several businesses in town that 
give towards uh, this outreach. 400 kids uh, in the White House School. 57. So, so, okay, we have music. It's a, uh, it's a little on the quiet side. I thought it was pretty good. I thought that was. I mean, that is ducking bomb. Yeah, <laughs> it is. No, it's 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 pretty cool. And uh, it, it, again, another time saver. Hundred and fifty-seven families. That you can even go in here. Okay, so I've got okay, but a little bit of it. Semi advanced. I don't know how advanced it is. This audience, I feel like you guys can totally handle this. Okay, so you see, I have, I've got two clips here: clip one and clip two. I'm so creative. Uh, but you see that the frame rate is different. They're like 59. I did that on purpose because I wanted them to be a little slow. Not like me because I'm a little, you know, a little slow sometimes. But no, like slow moving uh, <laughs> clips. So what I'm gonna do is. Ugh. I'm going to select both of these, shift, click, and I'm going to right click on these guys. And I'm going to go up here to modify. Can you see that? Modify yep. to interpret footage. Okay, again, semi advanced, but I think you can handle it. Okay, I'm going to go up here. This is, this is the thing here. Assume this frame rate. Boop. And I want to do it just like the others. So they were at 23.9, was it 97? Close enough. Okay. <laughs> Great. Oh, and one more thing. Sorry, we're going to go back. Modify. Interpret footage. I don't want them to be audio because I want this to be like B-roll that is over him. So I'm just going to say there's no audio. So number of audio clips? None. Zero. Okay. And then uh, we can... Okay, we're going to go in here to the preview panel. Again, sorry if I'm getting like really uh, into the weeds here, but okay, I want to have the like... He's talking about their shopping, so this kind of helps illustrate. And I'm going to put an endpoint here and shows her. And maybe I'll just like start there. And where she waves. That's one of my coworkers, Elsa. Say hi to Elsa. She's super nice. What's up, Elsa? Okay. <laughs> and then that's Jim, another guy I work with. He's he's great. He's the president of our company. What so uh, definitely say hi to that guy because uh, he's he's a mess, man. Jim's awesome. I'm not going to tell him you said that. But you tell him. Tell him. I dare you. <laughs> but he's saying something there. He's talking about kids love coloring. <laughs> something like that. Andrea says, hi, Elsa and Jim. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Elsa. I mean, thank you, Andrea. Oh, there you go. See, that's a good clip right there. Okay. We'll just uh, call that good because, you know, we don't have to be perfect for this. All right. It's kind of funny because right. now he's talking about uh, in the White House School District that will be supplying toys for and then it's a total of 157 families. So maybe when he's saying 157 families. All right. Now I'm going to go over to this thing called our effects panel. Effects panel. OK. Again, uh, and just stop me if I'm getting too uh, too wild and crazy here. Um, video transitions. I'm going to do like a little dissolve, a little cross dissolve here. I'm just showing you a little glimpse into my workflow, so I hope that's okay. Yeah. So, and families that they'll be getting food as well as those toys. Tonight we're shopping for 400 kids uh, in the White House School District. That and what are you saying? We're shopping. We can have uh, Jim with his shopping cart, and then we'll just do a little. Cross dissolve. You can you can change the the duration of this by just dragging that. By the way, not a big no big whoop. Okay, we're gonna cro fade in, fade cross dissolve in, cross dissolve out. Okay, we're shopping for four hundred kids uh, in the White House School District that will be supplying. Okay, it's kind of a kind of a short clip. We can stretch that out if we want. Maybe have a little yeah. bit more gym. Kids uh, in the White House School District that will be supplying toys for. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. So there, you're telling a nice little story right there. And uh, that was, uh, what, 15 minutes? So, um, yeah. And, of course, if you want to, you can always add text. You can go in here and uh, to your little text panel and add some text. Nice. And uh, yeah, why not? Add Let's some text. Ho, ho, ho. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, very creative. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. 
So go to our essential essential graphics panel because it is essential that you have your graphics panel, and we'll just pick a pick a nice little font. I don't know. Uh, yeah, what do we? What's a good? I oh by the way, I'm a font hoarder slash junkie, and I am in a twelve step program uh, for these things for font aholics. <laughs> Uh, there we go. I just I'll just pick a font. Why, why did I pick American Captain? But why not? And we can make it bigger. Big bold, yeah. Make it big. <laughs> just randomly splashing across his face there. And let's see. We'll center that Ooh, right here. A line center. And we'll just have that uh, show up here as uh, as we're fading out. So back to effects. Cross dissolve in. Cross dissolve out. And then we just dip to black at the end because that's what we do in the movies. Families that they'll be getting food as well as those cores. There you go. So, and so we have a nice little video <laughs> right there. It's weird, cool. but uh, we have a nice little video. Ta da! Anyway, right. I hope that was helpful. We, we kind of touched on, uh, to recap, we touched on uh, the text based editing, which is a massive time saver. And I hope uh, it helps you in your workflow. If you are a premier user, and if you are, I salute you. And uh, even if you're not, don't be afraid to get in there and get your hands dirty, man. Cool. It's fun, but you better watch out because it could be addictive. And I'm not responsible for any uh, kind of, uh, you know, harm this may inflict upon your family time. <laughs> cool stuff. And, uh, yeah. And we also touched on uh, the, uh, the, the um, enhanced audio thing, which is also uh, fairly new. Uh, so, so I think we're cool. super cool. Newish, it's newish. Available in the uh, the beta version of, of Premiere currently. Cool. And with that, I will turn the keys over to Andrew and Mark, and thank you guys for your time. <laughs> cool. Well done, John. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that. Hope you did too. So yeah. So Mark is going to go over that. some Photoshop wisdom now. So. Would you, yeah, switch your view over to Photoshop, and then I'll share your screen. I am ready to go. Who, who's ready? that? Who is that? This is, uh, this is actually an AI model. I just typed in on the new prompts in uh, in Firefly. Really, 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 really good looking guy. <laughs> um, I thought the audio was stuck for a second there. And it just kind of. <laughs> really, 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 really. Oh, yeah, then that wasn't singing. But, yes, this has happened. But, you know, before I begin on Photoshop, yesterday we did a dress rehearsal and I wasn't dressed, but they put claws on me. So I look a little bit better today. Right. <laughs> hey. And Andrew asked me a question about, am I left handed? And I thought I would start here because, you know, for some reason I start here often because, like I said before, you know, these Adobe applications get intense. They're always putting something new and changing it up. You can never not learn something new. It's just impossible. So uh, I know we were just in Premiere and there was something that, it was semi-new in Premiere that kind of parlays into Photoshop. It kind of makes sense of this whole thing. John went to it, you know, real quick. He went into workspaces, right? And he went into here, and there's an essentials workspace. But, you know, they the other way, they I used to have, like, the, the names of the workspaces on the top, like they do in Lightroom. They had that in Premiere, making it really easy. Because I use Premiere primarily with the workspaces. So, for instance, when I'm editing... I go to the editing workspace. And if I'm doing captions, I go to the captions workspace because everything's just there. It's just easy and quick. But yeah. what's not quick is using this menu. So what I could do is something called show label and I can see the label of where I'm at. Or better yet, I can go to show tabs and now I can see all the tabs kind of like it used to be. Yes. And I can drag this to go through them or I can even go into here and go to the bottom and edit the workspaces and I can change. Like for instance, you know, text-based editing now, I'll probably use that a lot. Because John just showed us how to use that. Like, wow, what a time saver. I'll put that in the head. I use editing and color and effects and audio and captions all the time. Maybe I use captions more. I'll put that there. And now you'll see it'll change my menu here of what's here. Pretty cool. So making it easier for me to change now. To go to the assembly when I want to load in things. Go to text-based editing when I need to do that. Go to editing when I need to do that. And even if I'm in editing, what I can do is if I want to move something like this, I move this out of the way, I can just double-click it to reset the workspace instead of going down here. Yes. Right, reset to save layout. Just easily double click. Nice. Awesome. Double click. Now in Photoshop, same thing. This is the workspaces, right? I can come in here and go to workspace, and I can go to the essentials workspace. And you know, I can make I can make a mess. I can take things here. I could 
scale things how I want. I can collapse them with the double arrow. I can close it with the X. And I can, you know, I can go back and always say, reset my Essentials workspace. And it puts everything back. But I think the Essentials workspace is, is horrible as a Photoshop user. What's the most important panel in Photoshop? The Layers panel. So granted, every time I come in here, I'm going to have to double-click the Properties panel because now I can breathe and add a bunch of layers and do my work, right? Easy. But then I have to go all the way across the street over here, all the way across the street to get my maybe my Move tool. And then, oh my God, layer five is selected. I have to go all the way across the street again just to, oh, to select What street layer. is this called? Photoshop Street? And then I have to go all the way across Photoshop Street to get to the lasso tool so I can come then all the way down to the middle and finally maybe like put a, a lasso around the arm because maybe I could use something called generative fill. But before I do that, I don't work that way. You ever see that tennis? I don't know. I'm probably going to date myself. But maybe it was like Jimmy Connors, like a tennis match or an advertisement showing him all over the court with like red paint underneath his sneakers, showing the coverage that he made on the court with the red imprints. And that's kind of what it is in Photoshop. I'm going to start here and go to file, new, open. Then I'm going to select the tool. I'm going to go all the way across the pond, select the layer, maybe change something, the pads, the adjustments. I don't know. I'm going to come all the way back to the middle and then all the way back to the left. Homie, don't play that. So what I do is I can reset my essentials. <clears throat> then I can double click the properties because then I can breathe and, oh, I have space for my layers. And because that felt so good, I'm going to do it again. I'll double click the color pad. Oh, can you breathe? And when I need it, I'll just double click when I need it. But you know what? I probably don't even need it because the color is over here. I'll probably use it over there. But oh my God, I don't want to go across the pond every time. So I take the whole kit and caboodle. I move it over here to the left where it's blue and it locks in. And bam, this is my workspace. I start here, file new, open. I grab a tool. I select the layer. I change the opacity. I'm over here. I'm never going to the desert over here. But the, the reason why I thought you were left-handed is because I have all that set up on the right yeah, side. Yeah, but now I'm working bar. here. Well, I, I dock over here because that's where I got to start anyway, right? I mean, I'm going to use my quick keys. I'm going to press Command-O, Command-N, Command-S. I mean, I know them all. But I'm still going to come here sometimes, maybe open recent. I don't know that quick key. You know, certain little things that I might end up doing, right? Sure. Or using some auto or scripts, right? I'm going to be using the browser a lot over here. I'm going to be using the options panel for every tool I select up on the top. I'm going to always use my layers on the left and my image is right here. So I'm kind of sitting right here. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, most people have it right aligned. So it's interesting to see. Yeah. Cool. So now we are in the, um, yeah, I don't, I've never seen anybody work this way. I don't know why it makes me, it makes total sense. Like everything's clear as day. It's easy to get to. It's right there. Art takes time, right? When I was in college, Hey, can you make us a quick flyer? Can you make us a quick poster? Hey, dude, can you just edit a quick edit a banner for me? Nothing's quick. Yeah, the, yeah why do they always say quick? <laughs> yeah, not even opening up Photoshop. Because they don't want to pay you too much. They, they're waiting. They're That's it. They don't pay you less. <laughs> yeah, nothing's quick. So we want to speed up the workflow. That's what we're trying to do. So step one, use the workspaces. It just makes sense to get around, and they're there for us. And I can save this workspace. Great. And the new feature, I am in the beta version. So if you go to the beta version, there's a new filter called the parametric filters. What? Nice. We just, just heard an announcement of that. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And I can put them right here. Now they're docked in my workspace and I can go to window workspace and make a new workspace and call that Mark's space or Mark's new space. It's, what I also do is I usually have like the timeline open, right? Just in case I do video or animated GIFs, I'll open the timeline for Mark's space really. And then I'll double click it to shove it back down. So it's there, but it's not like in my way. And of course, I'll go here and say new workspace. And I'll just name it exactly over my old workspace. Boom. Replace it, yes. And now I know I could make a mess and open up these panels or bring this to the side if I need to. And I can easily just go to reset mark space and clean up my room. And mom, it looks great. <laughs> All right. Nice. So. Here I am in Photoshop and I'm going to go old school on you. I'm, I'm already going old school. Like I put yes. these glasses on, not because I need them, not because I need them, just because I don't want John to look smarter than me. So I have these glasses on. I'm also going to go gold school Photoshop, even though today we're doing AI features, right? Like Adobe Firefly is Adobe's artificial intelligence, which is now inside of Premiere, like John showed you, and inside of Photoshop. But before I go there, boom, look at this. Old ah. school Photoshop. I had to do it myself. 
So I thought, all right, let me show you the new generator fill. We do a little test on the note tats to see if it can do better than me. So I'm going to select the arm, generator fill, just so you know how it works, okay? We kind of select a portion of a space. Usually mm -hmm. the, the outline does or can add some uh, properties to the, to the shape of what you're going to get. And, of course, the space within it fits. And I can just put, like, you know, hat. I'm sure sombrero wouldn't fit. But what does a chai generate? Generate a hat for me. And we wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have a feeling there's going to be a hat here. Beautiful. Yes. Captain. I mean, hello. hello. <laughs> and now we can see our different versions. Oh my goodness! I didn't even say pirate hat, but I don't know how I got so lucky. I don't know. So be aware that every time I use generative fill, we never know what's going to happen. Even if I plan myself and plan this whole thing out and tested my prompts, we never know. All right, but the hat—you can see, you get an idea of how it works. I can choose different variations if I want to generate again. I can, but I don't want to take the time, so I won't. I'm going to turn the hat off. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to try to now select this arm using the lasso tool. I'll select around the arm, and I'm going to say uh, koi fish tattoo. Cool. Generate. Okay, this is just from Firefly, right? This is in Firefly, kind of like the testing grounds. And now right. here it is in Photoshop, not just the beta, but it is in the all-new Photoshop generated yeah. fill. And, and I got... A fish in the hand. Wow. A fish in the hand. <laughs> and I got a fish here. That's cool. Look at my arm. I caught a fish. You know what I mean? I don't know. Look at that. That's oh, wild. Man, that that looks, looks pretty yeah, fishy. Weird. Weird. All right. That's, that's not fair. That's not fair. Let's just try it one more time because you guys are thinking, wait a second. Maybe he has to like, I don't know. Maybe he has to maybe like. Maybe select the arm and not the hand. Tool, right? Use another AI tool. Object selectors, please. Go ahead. Okay. Now we got this piece right here. So, oops. Selected. Okay, so now we'll try it again. Koi fish. How about we do ta too? Make sure we, you know, we, they know we're serious. Yeah. All right. Generating. Doo -doo. I want to keep Generating. doing that, but it's going to hurt after a while. <laughs> Generating. Wow, that's the best I've gotten. I've tested this before. That is the best I've gotten so far. Now that's pretty good too, though. <laughs> no, yeah. that's pretty good. All right. So it's a complete, sometimes it's, a, it's complete silliness, right? It's complete silliness. However, yeah. however, there's times where like it's it is pretty wow. Uh, I already cheated here, didn't I? Very nice. So that's not fair. I cheated. You guys didn't even see that. Okay. See what right. so we have this picture here, and on top of generated fill, there's also a fill that I can do with like the crop tool. So the crop tool, as you know, crops. A lot of people know that it crops. I can press enter, it crops, commands you to go back. Again, right. I go into the crop tool. What a lot of people didn't always know is that I could also extend the canvas with the crop tool. I could just make my canvas larger. Mm -hmm. You know, very similar to going image canvas size and making your image larger there, right? Right. Boom, okay. But instead I'm gonna use this tool, I'm gonna go to image, or crop and just uh, expand the canvas. And normally, as you can see, it just gives me transparent pixels, nothing, just empty canvas. But I go to the top here and I can change this from turns transparent, the default, to the old school. I could do, remember the content aware fill? That was basically yeah. AI, right? But yeah, now it's just better. So generate yeah. the band. And now I'm just going to press generate. I'm going to leave everything blank and just let Photoshop do the work. Yeah. I do nothing. Well, it is all human. I mean, you guys probably can't do this, what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to follow <laughs> the cropping that I did. I mean, just the way, did you see the way that I grabbed the corners? It was so there very is a That's a crazy. Method, the madness. That was oh, a Bam! Right. I mean, is that crazy? Hey. Before. And then I love the fact that it gives you variations. After. Too, right? And then right. we have variations like which kind of mountain? Oh, look at that! It's a bit more full mountain. Oh, that, that's uh, oh, nice. Night. Not Very bad. Nice. Not bad. Oh man, that's a so, there's a trip brochure. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Awesome. Pretty stinking cool. And we can even try to like circle a piece of here. 
And you know, and just his generative expand is amazing. If I did like uh, people you were correct. hiking up the mountain, it's a big selection, though, isn't it? Be a lot like of people. Selection or one big person. people. Judging my selection. Wow, Godzilla. Yeah. All right, that's no, not no, bad. That's kind of what I was yeah, picturing. Yeah, I wish yeah, they were a little exactly. bit bigger. I wish the people were a little bit bigger. Ooh, uh -huh. I don't know what's happening there. All right, I'm gonna go with that one. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Follow the trail. Yeah. And then, uh, up what base we, camp. we also this is also sort of new. You know, this little doohickey that kind of helps us talking about speed. Like they know what I'm talking about. You know, like yeah. as I click different tools and do some selections and stuff, this tool comes to me, and you know, it, it just. What do you want to do? You want to add a mask, you want an adjustment layer, you want to deselect, you want to select. What do you want to do? But I could also take this bar and like reposition it because it gets in your way, right? So I could just maybe just move it over here and then right click here and just go to actually, I didn't right click, I lied. I just clicked. Talks, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go to pin the bar position so that it doesn't like follow me wherever I'm going, you know, like leave me yeah. alone, stop being a little puppy. <laughs> and then maybe right down here, I can select like this grass. And type in like uh, lake with Ooh. trees, bushes, and reflection. Hmm. Nice. Here we get again. Every mm. time you do it, it's going to be a little different. Mm. It's like rolling dun, a dice. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh, oh, and cool. bam, that's not hey. bad. Not bad. Oh, look at that. And, and your little sticker guys. Oh, and that's a nice reflection. Oh. oh, neat. I like this one. Not bad. Not bad. All right. That's we can keep going. What if I did like a. That's not know. terrible at all. That's a... <laughs> Whale jumping. Free Whale way. jumping out of water. Let's see what we get. But I'm. Not bad. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's a little bit Okay. And what if we did one more something like over here? Maybe we did like uh uh penguins on an iceberg. Nice. That sounds good. Generating. Dun, 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 Pretty soon, I guess we'll be able to do like a few at a time. They should play music. I think that's the next evolution. Ooh. The, pe the penguin was about the same size as the, the okay. whale. The penguin's not so good, but let's just finish off with, you know, maybe some, uh, um, let's just do like maybe bird or uh, let's see. Yeah, birds. Fly. Oh, birds. Birds flying. Oops, bur birds. <laughs> I, w I wonder if it takes into account this over the sunset. Yeah. Group, group of three right, trees yeah. flying over. All right, so you can see that you know the hikers look great. Like they actually fit in. And if I had to do that by hand, like actually photoshopping that, yeah, that's pretty. Be a good. while. Be a while. Yeah. Birds. <laughs> that one's not bad. I don't mind that. Okay, yeah. so. You get it. Maybe we just do last one. All right. Oh. Let's see if we can do it. Here it comes. Generating. All right. So we've touched on, I forgot to actually, I skipped over the uh, parametric uh -oh. filters. All right. But there we go. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And let's just start with that. Boom, boom. There we go. So okay. it's an interesting little fun and game. It can definitely help with some <laughs> things. And some things kind of show up kind of, kind of goofy. You never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like a box of chocolate. Pretty cool, it? though. Yeah, it's, it's a lot right, of fun. So when it goes that one, oops, we're not ready for that. Oops, we're not ready for that one either. Let's go back to Mark Open Recent and have to do this. I totally forgot to show you that um, we have these parametric filters. I showed you how to save them, but I didn't show you how to use them. Sure. Hey. So under here, we have these parametric filters. Uh, they're pretty cool. I can just kind of click. Brand new, too, boom. right? Brand new. This is in the beta version only. Yeah. I have okay. all these things that I can do to change the blur intensity or the angle, right? Or I could even maybe take off the intensity so I'm normal. And you'll see down here, there's also transform. 
I can like transform. Oh. So I'm zooming in and out. So I could do something like a 0.2 and I have a Z card. Boom. Oh, okay. Oh, I haven't, eight, right? I haven't played and with this. This is cool. Then I can come back here and there's other ones. There's, uh, there's on the bottom here, there's like a sticker, sticker filter. Boom. I can turn off the back. So you'll see I have like, a, I'm like a sticker now. I've always wanted to be a sticker. I mean, you know, mm. I'm a sticker. you're a sticker. Wouldn't you want to be a it's sticker stick. too? Now you can. Now you can. And I can just keep clicking. You'll see they're all smart filters, right? So if you know what a smart filter is, right, it makes it there's uh, filters that are get smart. Back to the uh, main menu each time. But a smart filter just kind of makes it so it's always adjustable, right? I never have to like Mark. worry about overriding something. What was the question? Uh, how do you get back to the main menu each time? Uh, well, I put it in my little tabs here, but right here you'll okay. see the, the main menu. So there's the filters, nice. the properties, nice. and there's the menu. Nice. And we'll come down to let's say what else is there? Um, vintage. That's how I look. Vintage. You know, no, I, yeah. I look. 1970 old school. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. You know, just in case you want to look like old. Or need me help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then what's really cool is also a rain filter. What? Make it rain, boys and girls. Got a bill. Strength of the rain. I could have more rain density. I could change the angle of the rain. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I can make it darker so it doesn't look, you know, it's like a real worst day in the rain. Right? Lower the highlights. Um, and I can also randomize. So I could randomize all of these filters again and again, and I can copy this number. So if I was, if I like this one, but I want to like, yeah, let's try a couple more. I'll press command X to cut. I'll randomize a few more times. Maybe I like another one. I'll memorize that number. Or I could just come in here and delete and paste in this number and press enter. And it goes back to that mm -hmm. random selection I had before. How cool is that? That is so cool. So I have Thank a question. You. If you, if you jump to say oil painting, does it, start completely fresh or does it add some elements of say the rain with the oil paint that's a great question because and you know what my next stop was i mean that person is like wow mind reader Ooh. oil painting nice nice same yeah. thing i can randomize so again i can memorize those strokes i can yeah. you know directional painting i can make it a sketch write a lot of things and of course i can change the intensity there oh wow change the details change cool. the size of the stroke the highlights of the stroke i mean it's just like it's too many things for me to change nice but pretty neat huh yeah it's uh, very cool. yeah okay um <coughs> i could also do stuff like let's see uh let's go back to the oil paint and come here and there's this transform and i can scale myself well actually before i scale myself whoa Maybe I should. Well, I was gonna make it make it look nicer, but you get the idea. You can play with throughout. But if I scale myself here, you'll see it's really now it's big, and I can then like change this offset. It's kind of uh, I'm not sure what, like why I need to. I could probably just keep it whole and then zoom into the spot. But it's basically it's like a zoomed in spot mm -hmm. of the photo. Mm -hmm. and then I could just kind of offset yeah. that or move it a little bit to kind of you know maybe make it centered or so. Right. Pretty cool. Yeah. Neat. You know. Pretty sweet. Uh, okay. Yeah. Playing with that this weekend. Of course, I could randomize. Pew. You know, Pew. so everything is kind of generating again and again and again. All right. So now I already kind of got, we got into the parametric filters, which is in the beta. And then, of course, we did generative fill and generative expand, which is in the Photoshop right now, 2024. Nice. And now I'm going to blow your mind. Uh oh. Here we go. No, no. Oh. I'm going to. I'm going to blow your oh. mind. Okay. Oh, now yourself, Martha. I like to do Photoshop. I like Photoshop. I like the fact that I can go from like no tattoos to tattoos. Like that's fun for me. I feel creative. I feel artistic. I feel like at a boy, you know, but this is just like, what? Now, if we wanted to Photoshop this, we can do it. I'd have to go online, look for a guy with his kind of build with no shirt, of course. And I'd have to kind of, you know, try to scale it up and then, kind of make like the chest fit and kind of Photoshop the edges and change the color. And it could be done, but it'd be a lot. And then we have to do the water in the background, which I could probably use like the 
um, the, the rubber stamp tool, tool for, right? That probably is not that hard. I can just kind of option click there and just kind of slide up and I would match that. That's easy. But the arm and everything, I mean, that would be really not easy. Not easy. Mm -hmm. But what if I just selected it like this mm. and generated fill? I clicked and just kept it empty and just press generate. Again, yeah. I don't know how it's going to turn out because things kind of vary. But I was like, what? If he rebuilds it, it'll be quite, quite good. Can we do it? What? Wow. What? Pretty, pretty solid, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. No way. Are you kidding? Man. Yeah. Wait, can you guys remove that? Because I want to change the mind. <laughs> what? No problem. Done. <laughs> Took me 10 hours. Done. Okay. Watch. Okay. Let's do more. Watch do more. Okay. Remember that crop tool? Expand. Let's do it. I'm going to crop up here. Who is oh, this guy? Who is this that. guy? Imagine oh, my face showed up. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Generating. Oh, the time is going too fast. I wish they, they had to speed it up. Boom! What? Wait, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. Which or model? You can be that guy. Wait, wait, wait. Which model? Let's, haircuts, go him. Too, Let's go yeah. him. I like him. Handsome okay. guy. All right. Looking good. Looking good. You know what, though? Let's yeah. we'll just like put the arm in. Why not? Let's just like, what's he I doing? Mean, yes. That would be incredible. Let's Does he have a girlfriend? Like, who's over there? <laughs> Boyfriend? I don't want to judge. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Again, I just selected something. I expanded it and I let Photoshop do the work. Generative, expand. No prompt, empty. Uh -huh. Is this crazy? Oh, yeah. Shut this up. Nuts. Oh, just okay, stop. okay, okay. I hear you. I hear it in the background. I hear it. I hear it. Wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah. Let's might as well, right? Might as well. Yes. Might as well. Might as well. Let's see I mean, the legs. Like where yes. what do you got? What kind of shoes you got, buddy? I'm just yeah. gonna press return on the keyboard and boom again, generate a fill. I mean, now, yeah, now I'm kind of out of a job, though. Oh, wait. Okay, he's in the water. Okay, okay. Oh, that's more not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. Not bad. We can stop right not now. Bad. All right, not so bad. it added. You can see how it grabs photos from other things. We can kind of select uh, this. And uh, actually, you know what we could do is I could show you another feature, another new feature. Where did they put the shot Under there? here, there's a remove tool. Which kind of has been around a little bit, but you had to kind of to remove something. I had to kind of uh, actually. Where are we here? Okay, we're gonna go with that one here. So, we, oh, why can't I draw on it? Uh, because it's oh. a generative ex oh, expand so you know what I'm gonna layer. Do? I'm just gonna go like I'm just gonna go. Um, so do, do, yeah, do that command. I'm just yeah, gonna exactly. do all that, and right then here. here I can use this remove tool. I just press Command E, selected everything, shift everything selected. Command E is merged together, right? Which you should never really do, but you know. For intensive purposes here, we're going to do that. So here, the move tool, I could use the brush. I can't use the brush with it. Wow, it doesn't go, it doesn't go up. But anyway, this tool basically works how you take the remove tool. It used to be like you'd have to select around it and then keep coloring in and coloring in and coloring in, and then you can let go. But yeah. now, whoops, I didn't get to do that very well. Let me cancel that. Yeah, now I can just kind of circle around margin. it, and it fills in the color for me, and boom, goes to work. Bam. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, and do it again. So that's the remove tool. I just select it around and let go, and it fills yeah. it in. So it saves me another second. Oh my goodness, this is great. But you know what? Andrew did tell me, you know, he was worried about me. This is a PG show, Mark. It's a PG show, and I so I apologize. So actually, let's <laughs> let's maybe cover this dude up. I mean, this is I apologize, Andrew. I didn't really mean to to go there. Try the Facebook sensors, Mike. So we'll try yeah. maybe put on some pajamas on this fool. Pajamas. <laughs> okay. Hammer pants. Or those like that beige summer pants. Those kind it of should have been more, been more descriptive, oh, yeah. uh, descriptive, but that's not bad. I mean, he's casually. Oh, I like that. Oh, there I you mean, go. <laughs> Bam! I'm saying, like, we got to, you know, you know what? Let me just do a little. A little bit of a crop here. We're showing a little bit too much. I mean, I say we have an ad. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. got the same color as the, the water yeah. behind. He used to he call chose. these skids. They're pajamas here, but they were called skids. They were a brand that like yes. people wore like out and about, like he's doing right now. So this is my ad oh. for skids. But is I, that crazy? I, uh, I have a pair. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm sure the crowd is going wild, but you have everybody, everybody muted. I'm going wild. Pretty neat. Yes? No? Maybe yes. so. And this right. is such a fun tool to play with. So much fun to play with, but uh, oops, I forgot about this guy. Well, monkey I was going to do the board. monkey, but you can get an idea of the monkey. The monkey actually was um, a little monkey like this, and uh, you know, we kind of just added more things to him because, uh, again, it was supposed to be a family show. But I was just kind of worried, like if I could use either generated fill or the remove tool to kind of, you know, just get rid of this tail, you know. Yeah. Um. I wonder where you found that picture of my uncle Bill. <laughs> really. Yeah. So now we oh. removed it. So now he's sit. Oh, sorry, Andrew. I didn't mean to go here. Wait a second. Oh God. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I I know it's supposed to be a family family show. My bad, my bad. Let me just see if we can. Oh, please, Photoshop, help me out. Get me going here because I got to. Come on, baby. Generating. You know, eventually I do have bad news for you. The bad news is that eventually I heard they're going to be starting after the first having credits for using generated fill. Yeah. So get your quarters in now. (laughs) But they're actually going to start charging. I guess you're going to have to have a certain amount of uses of generated fill every month. Right. And, um, but it's dependent on your, uh, type of subscriptions. So if a certain type of subscription do like the Photoshop plan or the photography plan with Photoshop and Lightroom, that's a certain amount of credits. But if you have like the all apps plan, you get more credits. Yeah. But I'm not sure if it'll be unlimited or, you know, how they'll give you 300 anyway. So there's uh well, almost, almost. I wanted to put boots on them, but you know, I'm almost out of time. So I'm just gonna show you one more thing. But Feet look that was my monkey. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a drawing that I did. Um I know, I know, I know, I know. I went to art school though. So go get yourself so, like you know, chill out, chill you're out. You're doing great, Mark. You're doing that's really <laughs> thank you so much. So this is a, a picture that I drew. In kindergarten and then i just uh, scanned it in and uh brought it to you no actually i drew this here really quickly using photoshop the only cool thing that i did do is of course you're wondering how how these trees are so sexy is i have my own brush that i kind of created when i was creating Ooh. some monsters characters and uh so it comes in like you know sh- 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 little lines but that's for another day however i can take this and use this to generate some stuff yeah. Now, right, if we leave it blank, we can see what happens. I wish it didn't take so long, but I'm just going to leave it blank and let Photoshop go to work and see if it sees what I see, what we see. My mm-hmm. amazing, gorgeous mountaintops with the can snow cap, the, the river the running through it. I mean, okay. Obviously okay. not. Well, Very good. not. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure so they saw like a cave. They saw skies. They're, they're on crack basically on this one, right? So I'm going to command Z a couple of times here. And I'm going to do something else. So one of my favorite selection tools is the quick select, quick mask rather. Right. So, I mean, I know a lot of people see like, I'm going to select this mountains and they use the pen tool. You ever see you guys do that? I, I, I'm just like, no, I, yeah. that's not me. I just don't do that. That's not my game. Um, just when I would get, get getting good at the pen tool too. Sorry, my bad. But I'd rather just, you know, be smart about it. Use like the magic wand tool to just quick select that and boom, right? Shift to add that, shift to add that, you know, if I want to make selections. Or I could, of course, use my quick selection tool and just drag over stuff. And I mean, come on, just it's just too easy, right? So Mm -hmm. I'm not using the pen. But the really best thing for like details is this thing called quick mask where you draw with the brush. That's my selection. If I double click it, I can get a different color. I can change the color. Red is kind of the default. Red 50% is my default. And I can double click that and maybe change it to the selected areas. So my selected areas are the ones that I'm drawing. And Q gets me in, Q gets me out. Q, Q, right? If I hover over here, you'll see it says the quick key is Q for quick mask. So I can just toggle that instead of going all the way down to the panel there. So Q, and you'll see where I'm at. I could also option delete to fill with black or command delete to fill with white, right? Option delete is filling with black. You can see my selection. When I press Q, you can see that that what's selected. So for instance, if I was to select my mountain, not with black, but with Q pressed, now it's red, right? I'm starting to select it with the brush. I could be sloppy and I could always use the option key to kind of, oops, or I'm sorry, not the option key. I could always toggle paint with white 
kind of like Excellent. the math tool to erase parts that I don't need, right? And like, of course, for a great selection, I would command plus plus zoom in. And now when I cast Q, you'll see I have a perfect selection. Well, not really, but you know, I can zoom in and go like this and then press Q again. And of course, I, I would also probably want to have a brush that's like not, uh, what's the word? Not soft, it's a hard brush. Yeah. Over yeah. here, there's different brushes, right? This is maybe a harder brush would be better for this edge. And I can kind of draw around it, right? And you can see my selection. Anyway, press Q, you got the idea. So real yeah. fast, sorry, we're over time, but I have this one minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Q. And you can tell you're in Q because this layer gets red here and you see it on top, it says quick mask. That's kind of the only way to tell other than you know, using your brush tool sure. and drawing with either black or white, right? So I'm just gonna press Q and I'm just gonna option delete with black. Now that's 100% black. So I'm gonna command Z, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna change this black. I want 50% black. I could just click in here and guess, or I could just use this, right? This is HSB, right? Hue, saturation, brightness, red, green, blue, lab colors, CMYK is for printing, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. And if I just go zero, 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 and 40%, I get 40% black, mm -hmm. right? Or gray which is kind of like opacity, option delete to fill. I've now just filled this with 40% black and I press Q and now that's selected and I can say, um, well, just generate. Let's see what happens. So what's happening basically is I'm using this quick mask as like a slider. So like in fireworks, yeah. I can kind of slide things to make it look more or less like the example. Right, so let's try that again. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. That was 40%, right? We're gonna do it again. Q, I'm gonna go over here. I want now 70% black. I want more black, right? Let's see what we get. And I'm gonna option delete and then press Q to get out. And that was my selection. And then shoot, I had a, God, I didn't, pre I didn't prep, but I had my Trello open with like a really good like command, like mountains with snow caps with river and reflection and green bushes i'm going to go comma photo i don't like those tag words you can use in fire fireworks firefly fireworks mm -hmm. oh boy fireworks that was a while ago huh Woo! talk about a flashback <laughs> talk about a fireworks back i mean yeah flashback yeah <laughs> All right, we're getting a little bit better. So you can see how yeah, this cool, is though, yeah. kind of, it's nice. helping me create something kind of real. Uh, mm. So we can keep going. I wish I had the exact same thing, but we're kind of out of time. My name is Mark. I hope you learned something new today uh, and have fun with AI. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. Back to you, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, some really cool stuff. Yeah, some very cool stuff. Oh, I just have, if I do, I have one more thing if I can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check this out, guys. I know John did video and he's super cool. So I'm going to open up this yeah. double click and boom, you can see I have a video here. This is a video, oh, yeah. but it's a real. It's a real, right? We don't want a real. Oh my God. Can I just use like this tool here? Just expand this. Maybe I can kind of do like, uh, shoot. Yes. What if I just take this and maybe I can kind of... Uh, change the ratio to like 16.9. Yeah, yeah. And then I can press the option key and scale up yeah. until it snaps. And then I can have generic expand and press okay. Oh, is this gonna, is this gonna hurt? This is gonna- I be can do something you can do better. I can no, do something better than you. I don't think so. Premiere cannot do this. Premiere cannot what? do this. What? Shut oh. up. Ah! I want to shut up because I'm presenting, so I got to keep no, going. That's awesome. <laughs> so, you know, it's not perfect, but, you know, we can just, like, no, cut off the beginning because she doesn't cool, hate yeah. it in the beginning anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean? She's just so... kind of yapping in the beginning anyway. Yeah. Something like that. But, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty cool. You know? And then, of course, you know, we can keep going and be back, you know, like, put it like, you know, how about put a plant here, you know? Just. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then I tried playing with some text effects and tried adding like, you know, neon glow. And it just, it's just not there yet. It just doesn't really do a good job. So yeah. instead I went to Firefly. 
oh, I like the book. So studious. Instead, I went to Firefly and um, I just made one and we can kind of add that too so that we can, you know, enhance our video a little bit more and yeah. maybe put some keys here on the desk. You know, just to expand the video. You notice how it also added in the mic, the boom mic. It finished off that for us. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now I added this in and now I have this whole brand new 16 by 9 video that I could bring into Premiere and add subtitles and do the <laughs> stuff that John did. What'd you type in? Car keys, but it, yeah, like a toy car. Weird. It gave you more than car keys. It gave you an oh, entire. Oh, you know, car. I didn't even look. I was just so excited with everything else that I made. That still fun cool. though. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's still cute. Very cool. You know? <laughs> yeah. Super Excellent. cool, man. Cool. Super cool. Nice. Cheers, well, guys. Cool. Thank you. But yeah, some great uh, Premiere Pro stuff. Some great Photoshop stuff, and all this generative AI technology so cool thank you both mark and john and so let me remind everyone where you can find them online so you can find john on facebook at pixelingo media on behance at pixelingo on instagram at pixelingo jw and you can find mark on his website at headtrickstraining.com on instagram at mark underscore head tricks and on his youtube channel at uh, head tricks youtube.com slash head tricks yep and uh let me remind everyone for more of these photoshop and lightroom and ai art and digital art focused live streams and tutorials please subscribe to my youtube youtube.com slash digital art drew that's digital art drew on youtube and if you can't remember that, that's Digital Art Drew on YouTube. Wait, what, what was that again? <laughs> digital Art Drew oh. on YouTube. Oh, is that Digital Art with an A-R-T? Digital, like digital Drew Art. Art. Digital like A-R-T. Wow. <laughs> Drew Art Digital something. I don't know. And uh, oh. if you want to uh, keep up to date with Adobe News, these are live events, as well as my digital art itself, please consider following, liking my digital artist, Andrew Cavanaugh page on Facebook, facebook.com slash digital artist drew. And for those who joined from the groups, thank you very much. And if you are interested in joining these groups where we always have wonderful live events and people sharing their wonderful work, you can join the Photoshop and Lightroom group, facebook.com slash groups, Photoshop Lightroom group, where John is also an admin in. Thank you, John. And the AI art and digital art group, which is getting pretty big, almost uh, getting on its way to 30,000. So facebook.com slash groups slash AI art, digital art. So yes. And uh, let's see. Andrea says it was a fun Friday evening, guys. Yes. Thanks yeah. for being here, Andrea. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for making thanks it being, even better. Thanks for being here, Zephyria and everybody thank you, else. Yeah. Thank you so much. And just a reminder, I will be posting the link to the recording in the groups and making it the top pinned and post. post. The top pinned post. post. <laughs> and of course, I'll also put that in the event page description as a post. Wow, we made it so, to the top. Hercules, everybody. Hercules, Hercules. Top featured post. All right, thanks everyone for joining us. That's not my name. <laughs> Make sure to check out the recording on my YouTube and uh, we will have live events again and again. I'm thinking of another one with John coming up in December. And we'll also be doing a Firefly 4 live Ooh. in December. So, yeah. <coughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. See you real soon.